we're 24 hours away from your fourth fight. Tell us, how's your career been going so far? Oh, it's going wonderful, you know, like, you know, just doing the hard work as usual, just being humble, and then just basically a big night tomorrow, and it's all about shining, really. And how have you found it? How, you know, has it been more difficult than you thought in the pro ranks, or have you, you know, is it easy and you're ready to move on and upwards? Ready to move on, obviously. I've got Brian Lawrence as my trainer and manager, and, you know, the way he's obviously been... Um, Putting me, like, you know, just boxing really nice, like, just keeping myself calm you know, and just finding the right shots at the right time. And you're very well known in boxing circles for having a great following, you know, great fans and lots of them. And today you've come along with an entourage and these lovely ladies. Do you want to tell us what your secret is? What can I say, you know, it's just come down tomorrow and then you will see big bombs happening, you know. I'll perform a really good fight and people obviously want to see me. And will you be coming out to Macho Man tomorrow, or, or are you saving that to the to real big events? Um, I think I might just, I'll probably just wait, you know, you know, I think at the moment I'm feeling a little bit of the funky house and that, or house, so I might come out with something like that. And uh, how far do you think you can go in the, in the boxing um, world, you, you know, what is your aspirations, you know, are we, a, are we speaking to a world title challenger here? Most definitely. Um, right now, you know, I'm taking each fight at a time, but my, my main goal is obviously to have a British title, you know, some point next year. And um, yeah, though, really and truly, I'm only looking forward to that, really. You know, nothing else. And so this is going to be a season-ending fight. Um, what, what are your aims for next season? What, where would you like to be in 12 months' time? Well, like I said, British title next year, you know, that's, that's my g game and that's my goal, basically. You know, to have that around my belt, that's going to be fantastic. And back in York Hall again, where all your fights have been so far, um, where's next? Where's your next venue? Are we looking at the O2 for Wadi Camacho? No, the next venue is, um, I spoke to Eddie, um, next one is um, Alexander Palace on the Durham Barker show, and that's going to be the 8th of September, so can't really wait, you know. No, it's not all about getting bigger through the summer, it's all about getting trim. So you have, have you got any summer plans, going away anywhere, or is it all focusing on the 8th of September? I think I'll probably just have like a week and a half off, and then just really man maintain my body, and just, yeah, just carry on training. And for the aspiring boxers out there that are watching this, what, what advice would you give to someone coming up in, in the boxing world, you know? What, what, what should they be doing? Basically, you should be just doing your own thing, and, but you need to keep an eye on me because I will be coming up to the top very shortly. And what, last question, what is the best thing about being a boxer? Well, the best thing is, you know, is to be number one, in, you know, yourself. It's like to be number one in the world, basically, you know, it's like... I obviously like to be known and everything else, so it's going to be wicked. And are you looking forward to Prize Fighter as well? I mean, it's a great format, it's really good for the fans. Sky love it as well. Um, what do you think of the competition? Yeah, the competition is fantastic, and that, but the main thing right now is it's all about concentrating me and doing my performance first. And once I've got that out of the plan, then obviously I can probably just you know, watch the Prize Fighter. And have you got a tip for anyone betting on, obviously, Betfair Prize Fighter? Um, you know what, just let everyone obviously do their best and that's it really, you know, I'm not a betting man, so. Well, top man, Woody, and the best of luck tomorrow. No problem, it's a pleasure.